Hey, what's up guys? Nick here. Without anything else prepared today, I thought I would do a little bit of philosophizing with you guys about my carry pistol, which is Glock 43X. Talk about why I've decided to carry it, why I think it would be a good choice for you as well if you're looking for a carry pistol. I don't want to review the 43X because there are plenty of people out there which have already done so, and a review on my channel would be noise. Moreover, I don't do reviews. I haven't seen a review video on this channel yet. I don't really want to be that kind of guy. I watch other people's review videos before I make a decision, so it's, it's not really my, my wheelhouse. Okay, before I tell you why, I want to tell you that it's not the first choice in pistols that I'd like to carry. In fact, if I had it to do my way and there were no consequences, I would either carry my Glock 19, because I shoot that thing really well, or my HK P30. Again, I shoot that well, and I love that gun. I have an emotional attachment to that thing. But both of those pistols are large, and they don't lend themselves well to my lifestyle. As an electrician, a guy who wears a tool belt, they're too fat, uh, and they print a lot on a, on a person of my build, so I, I don't carry them. And after, well, after, you know, probably 15, 16 years of, of concealed carrying a pistol and even longer than that shooting, I've, I've really boiled down what I know to make a good carry pistol. Might not be the same for you, but I bet I bet it is because we people are more have more in common than we have apart. So, there's my introduction. Five reasons, and I probably could think of more, but five reasons why I carry the Glock 43X. Number one, it's thin. So I just talked about uh, wearing a tool belt at work. I have tried in the past to carry, and I have tried, and I have done so, carry pistols on my hip, either appendix or four o'clock with a tool belt on, and it is straight up uncomfortable. It causes back pain, causes gut pain if I carry it in the front, causes the tool belt to not fit right, and then your tools aren't in the right spot, it's, it's miserable. During normal daily operations, when I'm not at work carrying in a, or carrying a fat pistol in your pants also causes your pants to not fit like they should. Maybe it makes your belt uh, not fit the way it should either. So thinness is an important aspect of a carry pistol. I think we all know that though. A Glock 43 is 43X, 43, same, same width, right? Or just about very thin. It makes for a very good carry pistol, a thin one. Second thing that has drawn me to it is that because of its size, it lends itself well to multiple carry positions. I can carry it four o'clock, which I'm doing right now. I've got that beautiful hidden hybrid holsters, double clip rig. I've shown video. No, I haven't. But on Instagram, I posted pictures. So anyway, I'll, I'll throw some of those in. It's it's beautiful. Beyond that, it's a comfortable way to carry and conceal it while I do so. Uh, because of its size, it also lends itself pretty well to uh, appendix carry, and I do that from time to time. Although I prefer the append, or I'm sorry, although I prefer the hidden hybrid rig, I, I do sometimes put it in an appendix holster and carry it like that. The appendix rig is good for a situation where you need to put your pistol on, take it off a couple times. It's really easy to get that that holster out of your pants. The uh, the double clip is not not that way. I've also got a shoulder holster that I, I carry the 43X in, or I have, I've tried it a few times, I'm still not big on the, on the shoulder carry, although it's something that I would like to explore more deeply. Uh, that was a really easy transition for me to go to the 43X, having carried the 43 prior to that, because all the holsters are, are um, interchangeable. There we go. Third reason, third reason I, I, I set it on the 43X, fills the hand. Well, I, I mean, obviously, is that the thing is is palm width, palm length. There we go. Um, the Glock 26 is the same round capacity as the 43X, but it's a shorter grip. And I do think that the 26 is easier to shoot in a lot of ways, but we're having a pistol that is palm length is advantageous is during magazine changes. And any of you guys that have shot a, a 26 or a uh, any other of those subcompact pistols, knowing you know that you're doing quick magazine changes with those guns, it's it's easy to pinch the the fat skin hanging out in your hand 
And not only does it hurt, it also keeps the magazine from seating properly and then you, you have an empty chamber. So I think that at least during, what would you call that, tactical shooting, having a pistol that fills your hand is an important thing to consider and a 43X, the 43X does that for adequate capacity. So we just said that the 26 is the same capacity as the 43X and you can put 17, 33 round magazines in a 26 if you so choose. So it doesn't win, even though it's pretty close. However, the 10 round capacity of the 43X can be embiggened with the Shield Arms mags, it will give you 15, and then you put a base plate on them. You can get pretty close to full capacity with the 43X if you uh, do some tricks. So that's, that's good. And even 10 rounds, 10 plus one with a factory mag, is adequate, I would say. Is it enough? Well, I don't know. It's, it's never enough. It's too much if you're trying to carry it every day, but if you if you absolutely need it, if you're in a firefight, there's no such thing as enough ammunition. Now, I'm going to finally give you number five. The last reason is that it has proven itself over the last three or four years of being out to have a, a solid track record. It's durable and reliable. I haven't heard of any problems with 43Xs, or 48s for that matter. Um in the three or four years that they've been out. You know, even Glock sometimes turns out a lemon and, and you have to have whatever, you know, issues resolved that, that show up during the teething phase. But I haven't heard of anything with the 43X, so you can comfortably uh, rely on it as a carry pistol. So there you go. There's my, my five reasons why I carry a Glock 43X and you know, recommend that you do the same. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of philosophy videos, but it's kind of fun to turn on the camera and talk to it. Talking about these things solidifies them in your brain too. Or, you know, it solidifies it in my brain. So there we go. Uh, we'll see you next week with something else. I think I got, I think I might have a, another vehicle video. Then. So we'll see you then. Bye guys.